David, it all worked out right at the end. Well, we kept going and going, Jack. Um, there's a resilience and a determination with this bunch of players. Um, really, I suppose, evidenced by Tuesday night's performance away to Anna, where the flood lightning was dreadful, the pitch was a challenge, and uh, it, was a, it was a difficult evening. And they dealt with that challenge very well. Um, I thought over the piece, we certainly deserved a point. And in fact, it would have been wrong if we didn't get something out of the game. Uh, I thought first half, we had a great shout for a penalty. I've spoken to Keith Kennedy and obviously Keith has said, well, David, I can only give what, what I see and that's absolutely fair. He has promised to have a look at it. Um, and if I'm wrong then, I'm, I'll apologise to Keith now. A bit too late. <laughs> a bit, but uh, but uh, as I say, I thought that, that, that maybe it was a penalty. Um, both sides cre created opportunities. I felt maybe we, we, we shared it, you know, in the first half. Then we had the disappointment and then the second half where when he's put his hand up straight away, big Jordan Williamson, you know, he spilt the ball and and yet if you think about the saves he made in the first half, you know, so but he's annoyed at himself and for, for that. And after that, you know, it was very much us dominating the ball, um, with Glenavon hitting us on, on counter attacks. And I thought you know, went into an injury time or can we keep going? And they did. Right to the end. And Ryan Wade with a fantastic strike. Um, and as I say, I think it would have been a crying shame if we didn't at least get a point. A, a point was you won, and a precious point as well. Yeah, very much so, Jack. Every, every single point is precious. You know, I, I said to the players beforehand, Glenavon pipped us by a point in terms of getting that, 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 that being able to get to the playoff place, and I think it was seventh last year, mm -hmm. by a point. You know, when I think of some of the games that we won last year, away to Glentor, and we beat Linfield, we beat Cor you know, Corey and Lauren, and yet it comes down to thin lines and fine margins, and it was actually Glenavon, who um, last year, with, with, a, with a team that we didn't get anything against until I think our final home game here against them. So we knew how difficult it was going to be. We knew that, that uh, Gary would, would have Glenavon well fired up, particularly after you know, the result that they had against Carrick last week. Um, but our own players, I thought, went about their business, you know, very committed, worked hard, played decent football. Um, in terms of young Daniel Bramall, you can see him now growing into the, the, the game here. I, th I thought he was very he seems bright. Seems to be acclimatising. He does. That's the word, Jack. He, 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 he very bright. And I thought Big John D. Smith. That was a good, solid debut. Yeah. Uh, you've brought a Bermudan international, 15 caps to the showgrounds. John D. Smith, a striker. What did you make of him overall? I thought he did well, Jack. You know, I thought particularly first half. Uh, you know, when you think he was coming up against Andrew Doyle and Mark Hockey who are no shrinking violets, the pair of them, both tough, teak uh, centre-backs. You know, he was up against probably Andrew a bit more than against Mark, and that was a tough uh, tough challenge, but they gave as good as they got from, from each other. I thought he handled it very well. You know, he certainly wasn't going to allow himself to be intimidated, and uh, I thought he, he gave us a focal point. It came about, Jack, simply because of the injury to, to David Parkhouse, you know, and that, and that was devastating blow. David's out for months. Yeah. Hey, he's going to be out for, for a period, Jack. You know, when, when I think back to the opening day down at Warren Point and, and the tackle that um, that he was in the receiving end of, the ironic thing, he actually got a free kick given against him that day, but the tackle was horrendous. The fella just came right through him. I'm not suggesting for a minute he was trying to hurt David, but it was a pretty severe tackle. So with David then out, I'm going to be out for a, for a, for a period. We thought, right, we need to do something here. You know, we, we can't just be relying on, on, on a couple of the boys. So we worked extremely hard, extremely hard, you know, to identify Jonty. Got him in on Thursday. And uh, we we are backing our own judgment in that we only had one training session, mm -hmm. you know. But he, he came with good credentials. He fitted in very well. And uh, he thankfully agreed. And, and I must say to Ian Black and Johnny Irwin, who did a remarkable job. And I've also got to say thank you to the IFA who really helped us as well. I think Jonty was clear with two minutes before the 12 o'clock deadline on Friday. Um, so, so pleased that he's here. Pleased with, with, with his, as I say, uh, his performance today. And yes, we have brought an international footballer, another one, uh, to the Ballymena Showgrounds. And uh, personally, I am so pleased to see, and he looks 
back to fitness or near enough, Jude Winchester, he adds a lot. I think, Jack, if we were going to pick, you know, a couple of people out today, Jude would be one of those. Um, this wee period has been demanding. I've, I've asked him to go and, and play in the games. He, 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 he just, he's a wonderful, wonderful young man. Superb footballer. And uh, he's, he's, he's getting better, you know, and, and he's not afraid, you know, to do the... The, the, the ugly side of the game, you know, the, the shift where you've got to run and mark and head and tackle. You know, it's not just all about silky football with Jude. We've also got to give a mention to, to Chrissy Rogers today. Yeah, um, boy. Yeah. And I've got to say, you know, we had um, Dougie Wilson was, was, was going to just to, to start the game and Dougie just felt he had a hip injury and uh, which, which was annoying him and was restricting him. And so rather than, than, than have that aggravated, you know, we took the guidance from, from Gary Crosby and spoke to obviously to Doug himself and we thought, no, we're not taking any chances. Yeah. We have enough injuries. Um, and as I say, Chris with them was promoted from, from the bench in, you know, in, into the, the starting uh, 11 and I thought he did fabulously well today. I'm really, really proud of Chris. You know, he's, he went out there and he just is a great lad. Really delighted that he's had an opportunity to come back mm -hmm. to his hometown club. You know, felt he left under a bit of a cloud, um, and he thought he had something to prove. Well, he certainly has gone a little way about proving it today. I thought he, he did tremendously well. And next up, it's uh, the Welders on Tuesday night here in the County Antrim Shield. So it's homewards and upwards, boss. It is indeed, Jack. Um, we seem to get to the Welders, if not yearly, <laughs> certainly biannually, <laughs> in some com competition. We know how difficult that will be. Of that, there is absolutely no doubt. Uh, and it will not be a matter of rotating and, and, and whatever in terms of this game. We'll put out the strongest that we have. We've got to take cognizance of, of those lads who are carrying knocks from today. Mm -hmm. So we can't be silly. Um, but uh, we have, as always, we have done our homework and our preparatory work with regards to this game and we know how tough it will be. But we look forward to it. Cheers, David. Cheers, well Jack. Today. Thank you.